Hundreds of people are expected to say their final farewell to Lieutenant Colonel Morris Moose Fontenot Jr. tomorrow. 22 News reporter Kate Walsh reports from Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm overlooking Colorado Springs. This is where the Air Force Academy is, and this is where Lieutenant Colonel Fontenot will rest for eternity. His funeral is this Friday, and 22 News will be there for it. Ever since his death, the whole Barnes community, Long Meadow community where he and his family lived, Westfield, and just complete strangers have all found special ways to honor and remember the man they knew as Moose. A fighter pilot is a man in love with flying. A fighter pilot sees not the cloud, but beauty. He is a man who wants to be second best to no one. Protecting our country was a passion for Lieutenant Colonel Morris Moose Fontenot Jr. until his last moment on earth. His death has been a tremendous loss for the men and women he considered family at Barnes Air National Guard Base. One of the most respected fighter pilots in the United States of America. He, uh, he built relationships. He was humble. He was approachable by everyone. And he was a uh, fantastic American. And the world is a lesser place without him. Days after his death, Moose was remembered at a vigil in Long Meadow, where he and his family had lived since he was stationed at Barnes earlier this year. The fact that you all took time to come here tonight just shows us that we picked the right community and we plan to make Long Meadow our home. So I just want to thank all of you. Weeks later, military and community leaders said goodbye at a private memorial service at Barnes. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. I am sure every pilot in the 104th Fighter Wing and many of you out in the audience feel sharpened by Moose. Moose is remembered every time Westfield youth football players take the field. His name is on each of their helmets and his legacy lives on in every fighter jet scene protecting our skies. Many of Moose's friends from the 104th Fighter Wing are already here planning his funeral and other arrangements for Friday. We will be heading to the Air Force Academy today to show you why it's such an important place for all fighter pilots and especially for Moose. In Colorado Springs, Kate Walsh, 22 News.